I'm an organization theorist and I study institutional theory and entrepreneurship theory. Uh, and I use them to look at how to make system level change to make the world a better place. Uh, so I look at uh, things like how to change industries, how to change behavior, uh, how to change organizations in order to make them more sustainable or in order to improve social justice. Uh, and uh, my work looks at uh, the efforts of social movement members, the efforts of change agents within companies uh, or within industries, and uh, the efforts of members of industries uh, both to embrace change and to fight change. In particular, I've, I've looked at how uh, industries move towards more sustainable practices. Uh, for example, in the uh, forest industry in Canada, I have looked at um, how uh, environmental groups have pushed on forest companies and how the industry responded eventually uh, after a long protracted conflict to create more sustainable practices and make them more accountable to public uh, demands for sustainability. Uh, by contrast, I looked at the Dutch sustainable tourist industry uh, where they, the industry was uh, more collaboratively working with uh, social movement members to design more sustainable practices for uh, the tourist industry. I've been working with uh, a couple of people here at Carlos Tercera. Uh, Ithiar Castello and I have been working on uh, examining a social movement, the Plastic Pollution Coalition, which works to fight plastic pollution. And uh, we've been looking at how the organization constructs power and authority within its member group in order to get the members to um, uh, to commit to the movement and uh, to take actions that are consistent with the movement's objectives. Um, now, of course, when you're working with volunteers who are loosely committed to the organization, that power has to be soft power and it has to include a, a strong relational component. So we're examining uh, what they're doing discursively on Facebook in order to get people to uh, be interested in, in committing to the movement and acting on behalf of the movement. Um, another project I have is with uh, Eltheo uh, Mendoza uh, Tachizawa, and uh, it's focusing on uh, organizational fields and network positions and how based on uh, the structure of an industry and uh, an actor's position within it, um, how they respond to pressures for change from their external environment. Uh, so it's more of a theoretical project. I'm very excited to be uh, receiving this award. Um, it's a, an award that looks at scholarly contribution over the past five years uh, based on an article that basically changes the conversation in organization theory or in management. And uh, um, the paper that uh, we are, we're winning the award for is a paper that came out of my dissertation and uh, took many years to publish <laughs> and, and a, a lot of hard work through the review process. Um, and uh, I, I feel like uh, we captured the essence of a conflict in the BC coastal forest industry and uh, how uh, changes happened and made uh, uh, the industry more sustainable. And it was new and interesting because it was process-based research, it was multi-actor, and it really captured the essence of the conflict. So I, I'm really thrilled and gratified to be receiving this award. This research really looks at how um, how social movements or how civic actors can gain more uh, uh, access to decision-making authority about industry practices. Um, so the, the paper is on boundaries and practices, and there were battles about how to gain access to um, the authority over um, what forest companies could and should do in harvesting or what they should and could harvest. Um, and there was a, a long, um, what a, a collaboration essentially between the industry and the government and so it required civic society actors to come into play and make political change and uh, uh, make uh, corporate change and in effect bring uh, different threats to bear in order to uh, eventually gain access 
Um, but now we see forest practices that are negotiated over a broader group of stakeholders. And uh, so our, our findings have implications for how do you get to those negotiated processes? How do you open boundaries? How do you uh, make practices more sustainable? And in, in fact, how do you experiment with new ways of doing things in a way that is safe politically so that you can come up with these better uh, stakeholder arrangements?